filled with the Spirit, this is what people tell you. Being filled with the Spirit is like you get a little bit of God. You know, you just pour it. There you go. Read the Bible verse. They got some God. Cuss. There you go. Got started all over again. That's it. <laughs> start all over. He gone. He left you to out. You said that word. It's out. Got to start all over. And that's how some of you, you live your life. You're trying to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, sing a song. There you go. I got something that time. I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, that was a good service. See, this is you. And your whole life is you're trying to, you're trying to get filled. You don't know what it means. Some people, and I, you know, I believe in speaking in tongues. I'm Pentecostal in my doctrine. I believe in that. But, but for some people, they think that's all it is. They get real confused by that. And, I, and I, think, I think we've done a bad job of explaining it to people. What does it mean to be filled? Well, it's kind of like this. It's like Jesus all the way to the brim with God. It's like, okay, filled. You, you have been this tired of somebody abusing you? And you say, I'm full of this, boy. I'm full of this, boy. He ain't taking no more. You see what I'm saying? This is the end of that. I'm tilted. Ah, 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 watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. No word to dry. <laughs> something you get a heel back, wetting up the pulpit. You ain't seen me work yet. Watch me. But the point is, you just... Does this fail? When you, you know, when you're filled, you walk with a little more caution. You're filled. But in reality, I think it's it's more than just that. Being filled is kind of like this. It's kind of like it's overflowing, people. You know what I'm saying? It's so much of his presence in your life that it it doesn't just, it's just not a dip or a drip, it's a whole lot of him, his thoughts, his ways. His views. It's what helps you deal with temptation. There's no room for anything else. There, there's a reason why you're, so, you're struggling. He tells the disciples, listen, I really have some great plans for you guys, but I've got to fill you first. Because if I don't fill you, you won't be able to really function. Running at half mass doesn't get you there. Are you filled? When a musician sings, they're filled music. So I don't need the words or the music. They feel the beat. When God is really strong in your life and you allow him to fill you with his presence. And that's really what it's about. I really think we've really watered down what it means and we've cheapened what it means to be filled with the Holy Spirit or to be baptized in his presence. Baptism, the word baptizo means to dip and to hold under. It's, it's being immersed in him. So much so that there's no room for a lot of other stuff. And it doesn't mean that you're, it doesn't mean that you're just some kind of weird person. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Those people are not full. I mean, they're like this. I'm telling you right now. All those people who talk about Jesus all the time, they're always really weird acting. They're like this. That's not being filled. Being weird is not being filled. Being narrow-minded is not being filled. Many times, let me tell you what I think that is. It's a reaction to your own sin. You're so afraid somebody's going to discover the real you. You have to hype up to hide. I found they're the first to fall. I've been pastoring for 29 years, trust me. They're the first to fall. The loudest person who comes to me and tells me, I'm here, pastor, for God to use me. I want God to use me. I'm telling you, I'm going to be with you to the end. I said, fine. I start counting four. Three. Do you want to know who's going to really be used? It's the quiet person who shows up. Your passions for life are seen in your daily habits. Your passion for God is seen in your pursuit of God. My soul hungereth, followeth hard after thee. Early in the morning I will rise up and seek thee because I know thou hast been my help and in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. I'm in the shadows, but I'm a ninja. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm bad. You don't know I'm bad. 